Happening now, a local man is on his way to the International Space Station for the very last time. Love the story. Joe V is live in studio with much more and what he had to say after liftoff, Joe. Yeah, Bonnie, so 64-year-old Michael Barrett is among a crew of four astronauts who took off from the Kennedy Space Center on a SpaceX Falcon rocket. The launch happened overnight. Take a look at this. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Engines full power and lift off of NASA Crew 8. Go Falcon, go SpaceX, and go NASA. So Barrett is the Crew 8 pilot. He is traveling to the International Space Station for now, what will be his third time. Uh, Barrett was born in Vancouver but considers Camus home. He went to high school there. He's a paper maker. He joined NASA in uh, 1998, made his first trip to space in 2009. So here's what he had to say after taking off for his last trip to the final frontier. Kind of like a roller coaster ride with a bunch of really excited teenagers. Just what I mentioned, the uh, the NASA community is just a, a really warm but steely-eyed family that does amazing things, and it it kind of hugs you, but it pushes you into the unknown while watching your back. It's really been an incredible place for me to grow over these past uh, 30 plus years, and now I'm really honored to fly this new generation spaceship with this new generation crew. It's great to be back in space again. So Barrett and his crew should reach the International Space Station sometime tomorrow. They'll replace a crew who has been there since August. And during their six-month stay, they're expected to welcome the arrival of two rocket ships that have been ordered by NASA. Boeing's new Starliner capsule with test pilots is also due in late April. And a month or two later, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, a mini shuttle, should arrive. That's meant to deliver cargo to the orbiting lab, although it's not bringing any passengers just yet. Uh, with this trip, Barrett is now the oldest full-time astronaut to fly in space. So he's going to celebrate his 65th, 65th birthday next month at the ISS. And guys, I was looking it up. He has now spent 212 days in space combined in, total. in his previous mission. So by the time he's done, he should have spent probably a combined calendar year of his life wow. in outer space, which is pretty incredible. Yeah, including the about. birthday to yes, top is, it all off. That is quite the... And he's done two spacewalks as well, so he's wow. walked in space. He's done just about everything. Can't wait can to see what there. he's going to do for his 70th. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Boy, he's going to be quite the encore. Right? Mars, here we come. <laughs> right? yeah. Thank you, Tom.